Hello, this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this fun underwater card with the Seascape Bundle. All right, here is the Seascape Bundle. It has this super cute stamp set with all these stamps to make a cute scene, underwater scene. And then these fun dies to complete your scene with this fun coral and seahorse and fish and little fishies. So I'm going to show you how I created this underwater scene using the Seascape Bundle. So first I created a template using the scalloped contours dies. This die right here. Usually you use the die this way to create scallops like this, but I used it this way to create waves. So another way to use your scalloped contour dies. And so I'm going to use this to create my waves. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper here. And then I'm using a piece of three and seven eighths by five and an eighth uh, basic white. And I'm just going to start at the top like this, and I'm gonna use Pacific Point. I thought that's a good ocean color. And Pacific Point brush. Just gonna get a good amount of ink on there. And I'm just gonna kind of see how we're doing here. And then I'm gonna start off the page a little bit and just lightly go across, because I want this top one to be light. There's my first wave, and then I'm gonna move this over so that my waves aren't uh, the same peak all the way down. I want them to look different. And I think I've still got enough ink on here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go across a little bit darker, and I'm gonna stay close to my template. Ooh, you can see the circles. Don't wanna see the circles, so I'm gonna make bigger circles to kind of get rid of that. And I'm gonna go back in and maybe I should go like that. <laughs> So I just want it to be dark, like right there. But then you can see the line. That's why I do the circles. Okay. Because um, I want the peaks to be a little bit white. So I think I have too much ink on my brush. I'm going here and stay low. You can still see the circles. So less ink on the brush probably would be good. You can see the little white peaks because I'm trying to do less on the top. I want those white peaks. But since I didn't get quite white peaks there, I'm gonna have to make these a little bit darker so we matchy matchy. And I'm gonna get darker down towards the wave down here. Make that little delineation and then shift this over. And I wanna get even darker probably gonna need to add more ink because I am out of ink now. So we do have a good amount of ink, so I'm gonna stay really close down here. <laughs> That's really getting my circles. When I did this before, this didn't happen. Did my technique change? No, okay. That looks better. You can kind of smooth things out with the blending brushes, so it's it's nice. Go in here a little bit darker now. Maybe I shouldn't start darker. I should start light and then go darker. That's always a good rule to follow, so I should follow my own rule. So uh, start light, start nice and light. You know, blend it all in, and then come in and go darker down here. Now that's, ooh, okay, once it moves, you're done. <laughs> Okie dokie, I think maybe one more set of waves here. One more, just a little bit more ink, a little bit more. Just really lightly at first.
No, <laughs> I'm not ready. A good thing to do would maybe be to put some temporary adhesive behind your uh, paper here so that it doesn't move on you. Oh dear. Okay. Because lining this back up is a little difficult. I think I got it. Okay. It's just that I'm running out of paper down here to hold. Oh, see, I moved again. Okay, we're done. Okay, so that is our underwater scene, compliments of the scalloped contours dies. Just gonna wipe off my fingertips here. Got a little bit of ink on them. And then now at the bottom, I have cut out a piece of pearlescent paper and I've used the um, Inspiring Canopy Dye Slope to cut out the slope here. And I'm gonna stamp some crumb cake on here um, to make it look like sand. It's really cool. And I'm gonna have to let this dry a little bit. Um, because it is um, more of a, a soft surface, not soft, uh, smooth, shiny surface. Um, the ink will, um, that's the word I'm looking for. It will smudge. So I'm gonna let that dry. So just let that dry. And then meanwhile, I'm gonna stamp the seaweed in Pacific Point over here. So probably right about there. And I'm gonna stamp some bubbles as well. Okay, probably just up here for the fishies. Right, because the fishies do the bubbles. I don't know why I did bubbles down there, but oh well. We'll see, maybe I'll add more bubbles. Okay, so now for the seahorse, I cut the seahorse out of the ombre glimmer paper. Isn't that pretty? I love the ombre. So um, this was the darker, a darker piece and then this is one of the the lighter ombre pieces so i'm just gonna adhere the seahorse with some glue dots um, but first when i uh, cut out the seahorse it still attaches to the paper so you have to snip it um, here and here and here and here to uh, release it from the paper and then um, you can have a free seahorse otherwise it stays with the paper which is a pretty um, look as well but um, it just depends on what you want. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna see if I can use mini dimensionals. It'd be kind of fun to pop this up. See if I can fit some on here. And the fat parts. Um, yeah, I don't think this one's gonna fit. So we're just gonna do two and see how that goes. Okay. And we're gonna put him right here. Yeah, I like that. And then we've got our two fishies. The die cuts out two fishies and they go opposite ways. So we will put little mini dimensionals on those. Talk to me. So we'll do one going this way and one going this way. Okay. And then we can adhere this to a piece of um, Pacific Point four by five and a quarter. Okay, 
and then um, I have this little piece of coral cut out of the rainbow glimmer paper so it also kind of has a little bit of an ombre from blue to green pretty that we're gonna adhere on with glue dots and then this um, card base is thick whisper white the regular 11 by four and a quarter and I'm just gonna put this up on dimensionals I like having this layer up on dimensionals I just realized something. I think the pearlescent paper is too long and I was gonna attach it and trim it first. So I'm just gonna have to measure, make sure that it is the correct size before I place it down. I'm gonna be done with this. Just clean off the bubbles. And gonna clean off the fishies okay um, I'm gonna measure this I'm gonna get my measuring okay measuring the blue all over me okay so this is the three and seven eighths and this is probably four so I'm gonna to need to trim this a little bit. So this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna get my mini trimmer. I'm gonna trim off this edge without touching it too much. Three and seven eighths. Just needed to trim that off a little bit. It come the pearlescent paper comes 12 by 12 so I just cut it you know four 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 just made it easier so now I'm going to adhere this on the front you can see it it comes off huh. but it still looks like sand and there we go it fits nicely I'm just gonna use my ruler to stick it on or I can use your bone folder that would work as well might get ink on it though okay and now I'm going to put on the little piece of coral with glue dots and then uh seahorses I noticed when I went to uh, see the seahorses at SeaWorld they like to hold on to something so they usually like to hold on to the coral or to um, like whatever uh, seaweed or just something that's around them. So I'm gonna have the, the little piece kind of go in the t tail of the seahorse, like the seahorse is holding on to it right there. It's super cute. Okay, so that is my underwater seahorse card. I'm offering a free card kit when you purchase this bundle. It has six cards, three designs. So go to my website and use the current host code to purchase the bundle and email me and let me know that you would like the Seascape card kit and I will send it right out to you. Thank you so much for watching my video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my other video tutorials with the Seascape Bundle. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you know every time I post a new video. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye.